Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you what's in my travel photography backpack as a full-time travel photographer and content creator. If you're new here, my name is Mana. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. I make travel vlogs and motivational videos for my travels and adventures all around the world and help inspire you with the mindset to live your most extraordinary life. Without further ado, let's dive in. So first things first, what camera do I use for my travel photography? I shoot with the Canon EOS R5. I am currently shooting on the Canon R5 right now and then the Rode Video Micro Plus. I'll be showing you an overview of it right here. The Canon R5 is an incredible camera for travel photography, really any type of photography that you want to do. What I love about this camera is the intersection of how lightweight it is versus the mirrorless, incredible high quality that it produces. For someone like me who's a solo traveler a lot of the time, I'm hiking, I'm backpacking, I'm out in nature, I want my backpack to be as lightweight as possible and the Canon R5 helps me do that. The lenses that I shoot with are the 35mm RF prime lens by Canon and then the RF 24-70mm to lens from Canon as well. I found that with those two lenses, that is everything that I've shot all my photos with for the past two years, for everything from portraits on the 35mm prime lens to any sort of zoom or compression shot I want with mountains on the 24 to 70 those two lenses help me achieve that without being too bulky or too much weight because again I am a solo traveler I'm carrying everything on my back and I don't want it to be too heavy so I have been unbelievably happy with that camera gear setup as far as my professional camera setup next what I shoot all of my videos on is my iPhone 13 Pro Max right here I love this phone I've been really really happy with the quality of it I'm gonna tell you a couple of hacks for video on the iPhone 13 Pro Max and so if you see this right here you know how on the Pro Max cameras they have three lenses they have the three telephoto the one and then the 0.5 this is what I've been shooting at for the past few years to get the maximum quality and also upload quality on social media I shoot 4k 30 and then something to be really careful of when shooting at these different lenses is only try if at all possible to shoot on the actual actual lens and no like in-betweens. For example, like try to not shoot at 0.7 or like 2.1 because that'll make it look blurrier than if you're shooting just like one in particular. And they always say it's not about the camera, it's about the photographer. Like some photographers can make a regular iPhone shot look magical while some people can get the most expensive photography gear and not know what to create with it, not know how. So it's about the photographer, um, but these are some of my hacks with creating with the iPhone. And so you always want to try to have this like two-handed like really stable grip and then like like you basically become like a human gimbal when you're trying to travel and do travel photography and then there's also this like walk that you want to do which is like I don't even know how to show you maybe I can stand on this it's like a knee walk where you like walk and glide forward without ever like fully standing and then it's all about just like subtle body movements with trying to get like really good shots or like slow pans less is more type of thing um, and then the other thing too some shots that I've really loved is like playing around with the 0.5 lens and then just like that's a lot of my signature shots as well that might be fun to play around with and then as far as what I have on the phone so this is from Rhino Shield right here I believe it's it's like a larger version of their pop socket I'm not exactly sure what they call this but I really like it I've just put it on my phone like a month ago and it's been really fun just some added stability for my phone and then this right here has been on my phone for two or three years now it is the moment loop strap it's game-changing it's amazing when you're using your phone in a busy crazy city when you're traveling like a thief a lot of the time will just like come by and just try to snipe, snipe your phone but if you have this like so much peace of mind and then also for waterfalls or like if you're in a boat and you want to use your phone and you like want that like added protection of your phone being okay Okay, strongly recommend. And that's on the iPhone. Okay, so up next, right here, I shoot with the GoPro Hero 10. And this whole setup right here is the creator setup. And so it comes with this light right here on top. To be honest, I don't use the light that much. And then this little mic right here that just helps enhance like the normal GoPro audio. And then it has this Volta mini tripod slash charging stick, which is great because you plug this right here right into the GoPro and it helps keep your GoPro charged for 
like, I think it's like three or four times the normal battery's life, which is amazing. So your GoPro just installs like right onto the top of it. And then this like loops onto your phone. And I find this so easy and handy to vlog with, like especially for the types of vlogs that I like to do. Like you can check out my Switzerland vlog or my Dolomites vlog. Like I was just vlogging with this the whole time. I found for me, like my original idea was to vlog with R5, but realistically, I'm not about to be taking like a giant camera out to vlog and everything like that. This is super small, it's super handy, and it's perfect for me. And then the GoPro without all of this is waterproof, so you can take it into the water. A lot of my Grease Underwater videos are with this GoPro as well. <laughs> I travel with like a bunch of little tech accessories and like random fun fact about me, my college degree is in computational modeling and data analytics, so I am a little bit nerdy when it comes to like gear and gadgets. Recently I was gifted the Insta360 X3 from Insta360, and it's cool, I've been playing around with it. Some of the content in my Tulum vlog was shot with the Insta360. If you go on my Instagram, there is a skiing video that I shot with this. What's really cool about the Insta360, and you may have seen like the videos from people where they put like the Insta360 in their mouth and it's like those funny like first person point of view videos. There's a lot that you can create with the Insta360. You can definitely get creative with it. What's really cool about it is this extender pole. And then they also sent me um, this smaller like tripod stick and then also a 10 foot extender pole, which is cool because this becomes invisible in the video footage and Insta360 films 360. And so it basically looks like if you do it at the right angle, it looks like a drone is following you, which is really cool for areas that like drones aren't allowed to fly. This is sort of what it looks like. I don't know if that shows at all. It's really cool for places that drones aren't allowed to fly. And also if you're like solo traveling, and if you want some cool, like unique angles and perspectives. Insta360 also has an underwater case that you can put on to get really cool underwater videos. And yeah, strongly recommend that. Something else that I always travel with in my little gear compartment is an international, just like everything converter. This is a travel adapter with four USB ports. This converts from everything, EU, UAE, UK, US, Australia, like all sorts of conversions in one. And then this I believe is also the type that has like the voltage converter. So you don't have to worry as much hopefully about like your straightener plugging into an outlet that it isn't equipped for and then it like zapping your straightener because the voltage didn't equate. I'm not an electrician, so I don't fully understand, but this thing, I've been great. I've been rolling smooth. And then the other things that I have in here are just like spare GoPro parts. And then I also always travel with just like chargers, accessories, different types of USB chargers. Something to know if you're going on your first international trip as well, like a lot of the newer iPhones, they have the lightning cables only. You will want to make sure to get a USB compatible charging port so that you can charge your phone on airplanes or some places that are USB compatible only. iPhone always likes to be special like that but I always like to recommend that. As far as tripod that I use, I'm currently shooting on my Peak Design carbon fiber tripod. This tripod is an investment, but it is game changing. I am so happy with this tripod. Just so this is the case of what it goes into and it fits in, like as you can see, super small, super lightweight. Sometimes if it doesn't fit in my backpack, you can even just like hook it onto the bottom of it. It's got a little strap compartment right here as well. This tripod is amazing. It also has like a quick adjustment, like built-in phone adapter as well. Like the setup time, the takedown of this tripod is so quick, it's so efficient. My whole camera setup fits on top, both in the horizontal and the vertical configuration. It's perfect, it is amazing. I always joke around that my Peak Design tripod is like my travel boyfriend, because it's just like always there for me, super reliable, helps get the shot, it's also a great weapon, just in case. But yeah, that's on my tripod. <laughs> Next, over here, as far as laptop. So I used to be team Microsoft for a long time, I don't know why, but <laughs> when I became a full-time content creator in 2020, I invested and I switched to a MacBook Pro 2019 16 inch. Feels like working in the future. This is amazing. So strongly recommend a MacBook if you are creative. These laptops are just built for creatives. And then right here I have my SanDisk 2 terabyte SanDisk Extreme Pro portable SSD. Amazing. I used 
hard drives my whole life for backing up data, but I would so strongly recommend getting this specifically. All of my creator friends have this one for travel just because it's like, you can literally like from sometimes, like not that you should throw it around, but it's like falling around and, and you don't have to worry as much with these, like knock on wood again, with it getting corrupted um, because the hard drives, the other ones that are sort of bulkier, have literally discs spinning inside of them. But these ones are solid state drives, so they're fancier. Um, I don't fully understand, but trust me, strongly recommend it. Read some articles on how it works. Strongly recommend that. And then as far as data, I recommend always having three forms of data backup. So I do have hard drives at home. I travel with this SSD, and then I have one version of data backed up in the cloud. And so I personally use Google Suite. I back up in Google Drive and Google Photos. But find what works best for you from a photographer and data background person. I strongly recommend having backups of your data storage. And then as far as photo backups, I use Google Photos on my phone so I have the whole Google suite like automatically linked right here and you can basically turn it on so that Google Photos backs up all of your photos in the background and it's amazing I so strongly recommend it next things next so this is what I was talking about right here where I always have in my backpack a spare charger especially for like international travel or if you're going places that like you just can't get things as quickly accessible I like to have a USB iPhone charger and then another miscellaneous random thing that I travel with is a pen a couple of spare pens actually and then I always have a book so I like to carry either physical books or audiobooks on audible I have a monthly subscription I love reading I love to travel with a journal and so always just getting thoughts out and capturing my feelings and emotions in different places and then I have this passport book right here I wish I knew where it was from but thank you so much to the brand that sent it to me it just doesn't say anywhere on it here so I have my passport in here an international driving permit and then look at this throwback homie right here, COVID vaccine card. What a throwback. Strongly recommend getting a little suitable organized place to organize your passport and stuff. And then other random miscellaneous things because I am misprepared and I've traveled to over 30 countries traveling full time. These are just things that make my life easier and better and more convenient and that's why I want to share it with you. So hopefully it makes your life easier, better, and more convenient. Rain gear, you never know. Speaking of rain, like in Hawaii, it can look like a perfect sunny day and then all of a sudden, boom, you're like being trenched downpour on so this packable poncho right here I think I picked it up from REI for $15 it is a more premium poncho but I was tired of getting the cheap ones that always ripped so I invested in a premium one and this one has saved me and my gear so many times and then this right here is a small travel sized umbrella from Vera Bradley I love that it packs down so small and it's super cute like all the Vera Bradley stuff and then right here I have my Patagonia packable travel pouch and a headlamp so you you know I'm a big hiking gal but it is important I think to travel or carry some sort of flashlight um, with you just in case but I travel with this headlamp and what I love about it is that it's USB rechargeable and so I just use my charging batteries or charging cords from my camera gear and stuff to charge this and then inside of my pouch so like what I actually travel with and I have learned all of this the hard way I travel with like a little mini medicine cabinet. So I have just like a mini Advil, mini sunscreen, battery, not batteries, um, band-aids, homeopathic like motion sickness medicine, like female medicine, just like wipes, antiseptic wipes, traveler's diarrhea, ginger tablets, just little essentials like that. And this, the number of times this traveling medicine cabinet has come in handy for me or my friends is just, you wouldn't believe, but it is so good to have and I strongly recommend getting something like that and then this is just me but I travel with like little mini like this is a little mini deodorant from native it's my favorite like natural deodorant I found and then this is just a mini sunscreen block and then over here I have a day hike kit from REI it's an outdoor first aid kit I literally just used it the other day to help a friend who cut her toe open on a hike there's like a little mini scissors in here and then you have like gauze to strap things up band-aids antiseptic wipes stuff like stuff like that I've traveled the world with this just in case it's always ready and you never know when it can come in handy to help yourself or someone out these motion sickness bands they're called C bands they help me with motion sickness when I travel I travel with a little mini tissue pouch and then these are just like random things I collect um, but this is like a hair mask and then um, earplugs from United Airlines shout out United and then I just have my contact information on here that I travel with and then this right here is a little foldable bag it's like a packable bag that I got from Patagonia actually in Hawaii 
buy in 2021. The whole bag packs into this little thing right here. It's water resistant and I just like travel with it. It's come in handy so many times for groceries, for just carrying random things around the world. Strongly recommend this bag. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the actual backpack that I put all of this in. This shade of purple is like my favorite shade of purple in the world. So when they came out with this backpack, I was so happy and excited. And then this is like an add-on pouch that you can put on the outside of it. As you can see here, I've put it on and this is the size of the backpack. And so something that I was looking for as a female full-time solo travel photographer, I was looking for a lightweight photography camera backpack that could still fit all of my stuff, but would feel comfortable on my back. And it's also built for a traveler. So it has this thing where it like loops onto your luggage which is amazing there's a water bottle component i travel the world with my hydro flask emotional support water bottle right here as the trends are saying these days i have a couple of my favorite stickers on there from rachel pole from Kauai, hawaii and then keep nature wild because nature should be always kept wild so let's talk about some of the features of this backpack like as you can see here it's like covered in mud from my last hike but it is water resistant i have been dumped on in the rain and this backpack has kept my gear safe and dry so in this little pouch right here i just put like many little essentials like a lot of the times i will also just put like my airpods in there which also the airpods pro um, with the noise cancellation amazing for travelers and flights and then i also travel with a little battery pack charging thing can't remember the name of it right now but that's what i travel with and then i also oh oh another huge travel lifesaver liquid iv oh my gosh is it focusing yes liquid iv i always take at least half the number of days of my trip of liquid ivs especially for tropical or more adventure focused trips where you're gonna be sweating a lot i always put a liquid iv in my water for hikes and stuff and it is game changing so strongly recommend it if you drink liquid iv helps with hangovers and then i have a few spare pens and like wipes and granola bars and stuff in here too but yeah that's what i keep in this little outside pouch and now let's go over to the actual like photography part of it so what's cool is that you can open it up right over here and there's also like a little secret little zip right here which is cool you can put some stuff in there you open it up typically what i do on a hike is i lay it flat um, but for the purposes of this video i'll try to angle it so you can see it better and so as you can see this is what the inside of it looks like again it's very muddy right now because hawaii in the winter Winter is just rain and mud but that's just real life um, this right here is my camera lens and so everything fits perfectly right in here as far as the gear that I use so my Canon R5 goes right here and then what's really cool as well is that there's this like little side zipper over here so you can side access the camera really quickly when you're on a hike and you want to shoot real quick and then this is just the charger that I put in here but I'll typically put my GoPro right here so it's also quick access and then this pouch this stuff is also like easy accessible from here or with the roll top like right on top and this roll top like if I want to have like my Patagonia pouch and then like a couple sweaters and stuff like this roll top is amazing because it's adjustable and so I will have stuff in there but as you can see like my whole backpack as a photographer is literally camera gear <laughs> and then I typically always try to travel with just a carry-on bag so the carry-on bag that I use right now is the gray spinner from Vera Bradley and I've been really happy with the quality of it and then right here we have the laptop component so my MacBook Pro 2019 16 inch fits perfectly in here without a case um, and then over here you have some compartments so I just have my little like business cards right here um, which is super exciting Yay! <laughs> and then in here I keep spare batteries and so I have spare batteries, memory cards, like my Canon R5 battery and memory card, and then also a lens cloth. Gotta keep those lenses clean. And yeah, that all like packs perfectly down. Super convenient and easy. And like everything that I just showed you fits perfectly in my backpack. Amazing, so that is everything that is everything that is in my travel photography backpack. Something else that I would recommend always is to have a light layer in the backpack with you. And like with bags and stuff these days, if you're checking your bag, you never know what can get lost. So always have like a bit of essentials so that if you're going to a new place, you can like, you know, just like be for a few days without if you'll need stuff and it's if it's a more remote location. Now I'm gonna go set up my behind the scenes setup and show you how I use the Canon R5 to take solo self portraits on my travels and and show you some of the photos that I've taken on my Instagram as self-portraits. So let's go. Okay, so 
here we are. I have got the Canon R5 setup right here. So this is the R5 and then this is the 24 to 70 lens right on it. And it's on the Peak Design tripod with the Peak Design wrist strap. This thing's amazing and I so strongly recommend it. So I've got this set up right here. I'm basically going to show you flipping the camera into the vertical position. I'm filming this all on my iPhone, by the way, so bear with me. Flipping it all into the vertical position, and then I'm gonna turn on the interval timer and step into frame, so let's go. Okay, so this is a full view of the Peak Design tripod. It still goes up one layer higher than this, which is amazing. And then literally right in here, you have the phone piece, which is so cool. Within seconds, you can mount this right on top, and that is the phone mount for you. And then what I also love is that this hook right here, if you're ever like in a super windy place or location, you can like hang like your backpack from here or a water bottle or a carabiner just as a counterweight. But I have never had any issues with this guy. It is sturdy, like I said, best travel boyfriend. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm not. Okay, so we go right here, we click menu. And then in the Canon R5, in the first frame, you go to menu six. You have interval timer, enable or disable. I like to enable, okay. And then you can click the number of shots that you want. So you go into info and you can click the number of cadence of shots that you want. So last night I was doing like a little bit of a further location. So I added more, but typically I'll do 30 shots in taking every two seconds and then I will set everything just the way that I want it. So my ISO, shutter, it's a little bit dark right there. So actually I'm going to move the frame to maybe like, and so the great thing about the R5 is the autofocus, but basically I'm just gonna be popping a squat right there. We got the interval timer ready to go. And then one other thing too that you can do is flip this so that when you're in frame, you can see it, but I honestly don't really do that. So that is rolling. Basically what I like to do when the shots are shooting is just like slightly change up the angle at which I'm closing each time. And then like it's, I know it's every two seconds. So like you can hear the shutter or like whenever you want to move, just do like a slight movement. And the camera is just taking all the shots, which is so sick. So there we have it. Oh, that is not flattering, but yeah, that's what it looks like. And it's just shooting away. Wee. So just to review one more time, menu, interval, timer, enable, okay. And then the autofocus. So that half click on the Canon R5, those green dots, that is the autofocus. And I find that it typically crushes it. So now it's shooting. You can flip out this screen if you want a little bit of like being able to see what's popping. And then once I get into the frame, I just like slightly move around my poses every so often. Gotta get a classic smiling one. And then I'll do like the look off into the distance. Basically what I like to do in my photos to make it look as natural as possible and really make sure that I'm getting the feeling that I want to get across through my photos is like when you're in nature, you're amazed, you're awed, you're grounded, whatever feeling that is that you want to get across, like take a deep breath, exhale, and like emulate that. Like, yay, you know, like that excitement, that energy, and like just like slightly move your body, make sure your shutter speed is high enough for that. If you want more of this in depth, let me know. But yeah, basically that is my process. I hope that was helpful for you. And I so strongly recommend all of this camera gear. Live your best life. I really hope this was helpful for you. I wish that I had invested in photography gear earlier. I had a lot of imposter syndrome when it came to photography. I was like, I love it and I have fun and I'm good at it, but I can't be a professional, but you can be. If you feel that calling within you and you love it, go for it with your dreams. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions or what you would like to see in future videos. My name is Monica Furi and here's to living your most extraordinary life. Peace.